Okay, here's another uh, redox balancer equation. Now, this time we want to know, we want to balance it in a basic condition. So, basic condition means OH minus and then H2 are allowed to use in here. That's what it means, the basics. But the trick is the basic condition first solve as if in acidic condition, okay? Okay, so that's, so let's, regardless how the question is being asked, uh, I'm going to solve it as an acidic solution. And then the, what you're going to do is then, we are going to use H plus OH minus is same as going back and forth, H2O, right? So uh, this H plus shown up in acidic solution is now uh, replaced and the new a OH, new term OH minus eventually occurs in this two stage reaction. So first step, solve it as an acidic. That's the key messages. Okay, so let's look at the problem now. And I was a little confused in the beginning. If you look at that, there are the chlorine gases become chlorine minus and O minus. So what that really means is there are chlorines. Some of them are being oxidized and some of them are being uh, the reduced. So this is the uh, not a balanced equation anyway. So in the beginning, why don't we just kind of split it up this way? Or if you want to look at it in an easier way, I would just think in my mind. Okay, there is another chlorine gas, and then I want to just uh, make it as a balanced one. Okay, so that that's my starting point. So my half reaction now, so the key one is a half, solving the half reaction. First half reaction is Cl2 about the phases. So Cl2 gas becomes chlorine minus, right? So that's that's what that is. Let's give a little bit of space between here. And the second second equation um, here is Cl2 becomes ClO minus. So those are the two half reactions. So let's try to balance the first one. Uh, okay, so there are two chlorines here. I need two chlorine. No oxygen, no hydrogen. So eventually, I just need to balance it out by two electrons. And then everything is balanced now. And that's a good half reaction. So I guess this chlorine here is being reduced by accepting electron became chlorine minus. Whereas the other one in this chlorine here, uh, okay, so first of all, yeah, let's make two. Okay, that's the first thing. Now I have a two oxygen, so two oxygen means you need a two H2O to balance on oxygen now, right? And what about the hydrogen? So hydrogen, okay, do you need a four hydrogen, so I need four H plus. That's an easy one to be done. And then having said that, uh, the left hand side is zero in charge. Right hand side is minus two plus four. Then make it uh, my, uh, plus two at the end. So therefore, uh, you need to have uh, plus two electrons. Uh, no, no, not this side, the other side, sorry about that, because to make the my, uh, plus 2 to be 0, you need 2 electron on this side to make this one to be now 0 on both sides, okay? So, okay, so that's being said that uh, these two have reactions. I'm going to rewrite it once more. <laughs> so the, the one on the left is Cl2. Two electron becomes two chlorine minus. That's a reduction. Okay, this is a, I think the reduction part. And then oxidation is Cl two uh, two H two O becomes two Cl O minus and plus. 4H plus and two electrons here. 
Okay, that's uh, oxidation. That's why it's called the redox reaction. Okay, all right. So now uh, let's have a look at this. The uh, number of electrons, two electrons, two electrons. I think that we are lucky here. I don't need to multiply anything to make this matching numbers of electron on left hand side and right hand side. So simply add them up. This is gone. So, and then I finally got 2Cl2, 2H2O becomes 2Cl minus, 2ClO minus, plus 4H plus. Okay. Okay, so this, this is a, once again, this is as if it is, it is in acidic condition. Okay, so what do I do uh, now is I am going to write an equation. I want to get rid of it, right? So therefore, what I'm going to write is 4H plus 4OH minus 4H2O. Okay. So that is just an additional step. If you add them up, now this is gone. And then therefore, you will have a final equation shown in below. Two Cl2, 2H2O, 4OH minus. Oh, there is a one more that I can do, but I can. Let's just finish up here. 2Cl minus, 2ClO minus, 4H2O. And you, you just notice that, right? The H2O has to be taken care of. So this is gone, and this becomes 2. So therefore, finally, the answer is 2Cl2, 4OH minus, 2Cl minus, 2ClO minus, and the 2H2O. So therefore, this is a basic solution, OH minus, and then H2O is allowed. Okay, so this is, I just finished up these two different types of uh, redox reaction. The, this is a second one, which is in the basic condition.